sent me the script and I didn't really, he didn't really tell me a lot about it. He just said there was this, it's this story. There's a cabin. <laughs> um, um, and I read it and it, yeah, I mean, it was combined two of my biggest nightmares. Uh, home invasion and the apocalypse. Um, and yeah, I mean, it stayed with me a long time because I think it forces you to kind of put yourself in a situation and kind of think, what would you do? Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just deeply disturbing and, and pitched. At, I mean, this it's such a fever pitch of kind of conflict and yeah, I mean, there was just so much, so much going on, and it, it all confined in this one space with kind of very few characters. So it was, yeah, I found it really, really powerful, really moving. And I think he's an absolute genius in this, this genre and, and as a storyteller. Um, but yeah, I think you, you kind of develop this kind of kind of second language really we kind of were on the same page and his direction is just he has this way of putting notes into articulating notes in a way that kind of gets right to the heart of it and he doesn't really have to say a lot for you to understand exactly what he wants I love working with him he's just so warm and really nurturing um, and yeah just just so I think, yeah, just really brave and like what we're seeing from him now is just some really bold storytelling. He kind of expects kind of absolute kind of perfection and it's it's brilliant because it really kind of forces you to, you can never really sit back and relax. Even if you're in a scene and you're just sat in a chair in the background, he can see you yeah. um, and you know, he, you have to be in it. And it's, um, yeah, I find it quite a thrilling way to work. The cabin is a perfect setting for something like this because it's a place where it's just so isolated, anything really could happen. Um, and you're so far away from kind of any help. So it's, it just makes it even more kind of disturbing. <laughs> There's this real like kind of manic kind of fear that comes with him. And, it, and he's a character who's also kind of in reform. He's obviously got a shady past, but I think where we find Redmond, he's actually kind of doing okay in life and he's kind of in a, in a good place and suddenly he's hit with this huge kind of burden and, and decision to make. Um, so yeah, I mean, and, and, he, and he is, he's kind of very aggressive. Um, he still has kind of a lot of anger that I think he's kind of struggling with and we see that come out in lots of different ways. Um, and um, I love kind of kind of big bold characters like Redmond, he's, there's so much to kind of play with. Um, but it's, yeah, I guess the challenge with that is kind of finding the colours and finding kind of, kind of not pitching it as, I mean, because you could play him in so many ways, really. He could be com just, the anger could be kind of the only thing you really kind of see, but there's there's other things going on there. Dave is amazing, He's he's got this just incredible presence. I mean, he's physically just, this kind of mountain of a man <laughs> um, and just really sweet and just just a lovely guy and yeah I mean he's got some huge like really I mean he, he really has the heavy lifting <laughs> with the uh, the dialogue and um, he's great I mean it, it's, it's so deceptive his kind of you look at him and you think um, he's this kind of big kind of strong quite intimidating looking guy, but he's just got this such gentle um, kind of uh, nature.